Ah, uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Sid OK. Uh, today we'll be continuing on from where we left off. Uh, and that was... Um... Oh, all right, all right. so we've, uh, we've got a course reading from left to right, and then top to bottom we've got a four, which was, uh, uh, I believe, generated by the computer there, and a seven, which I believe uh, was uh, one of ours. And then, of course, there's a two, and then, uh, well, if we're staying in the same grid, that'll go on to nine, and then a one, and a five, and a three, and then, interestingly, a generated eight. I'll do one moment. No. One moment, hang on. There we go. Okay. So we've got um, uh, uh, an 8 and a 6. And then we've got um, in the next uh, grid, we've got a 6, which appears to have been generated. And, um. Do, do you mind? Okay. Uh, so then we've got a, a penciled in one. Well, of course, when I say penciled in, I mean, um, in very small writing, which could indicate it could be a 1. Uh, and then next we have penciled in a 1 and a 5, which I assume means that only there's a, a 5 up there, or a, or a 1, of course. <laughs> and then we go over to the number 4, which appears to have been generated for us. Uh, and th would you? Thank you. Uh, and then uh, we'll go over to ones we've put in, just uh, us together. Uh, uh, 8 and a 7, and then 9. I, feel, I do feel like I'm speeding through um, these little too quickly, and I do apologise. Uh, down! Down! Thank you. So then we've got the number two. Coming up to the third grid, of course, left to right, top to bottom, uh, we have the generated uh, number eight, the generated number three, the generated number nine, and the ungenerated, or rather <laughs> generated by us, because uh, I think if this is a group project, I feel we're all intimately involved with this uh, with this little uh, <laughs> g g game we've got uh, we've got going. You know, it's uh, something we all something we all enjoy, uh, almost as almost as much as we enjoy um, <laughs> um steam fairs and uh, and uh, uh, puddings of, uh, of various kinds. Uh, now, uh, where was I? Oh yes, uh, so there was seven, and um, and then of course uh, the two, which uh, was of course generated by us, uh, and then a uh, number six. Is that a nine? No, it is a six. Uh, and then we've got a five, and a four, and a one. Was that a one? Or oh, I should I should say that the uh, the four and the one uh, are um are generated not by us but by the um video um of the um of this uh of, of this here Sidoku. Uh, moving on to the next grid, we have, uh, uh, oh, gentlemen, we have uh, two blank squares. We don't know what's going to go in there. Uh, then moving on, we've got the number, I'm um, skewed, I do, uh, please, excuse me, what's that? Down! Down! So we've got the number eight, and then on to the generated number six, and then the uh, one done by us, uh, which is uh, of course the four, and then one done by the computer, which is the number one, and uh, one done by us, which is seven, and then one done by the computer, which is uh, number nine, and then one done by us, which is number three. Now, I feel like... Well, I could speed through these. Um, you know, actually, there, there is one that I... I, I hang on, I, I will just... There we are, I found it. I've got my, uh, <laughs> my handy-dandy pencil here. And I will just um, select, if you see there, select this grid. Now, this grid must be a number five, because there's nowhere else that five could go in this row. By which I mean grid, of course. Yes, so we've got a little put in the five there. Wonderful. And then 
That means there's only one spice left in this grid, which is, funnily enough, the number one. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's, um, that's another grid filled in, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're moving on to the one, two, three, four, fifth, fifth grid. Yeah, better. So we've got uh, the number nine, which was uh, done by us, then a generated uh, number six, a generated number seven, and of course the um the number two, however, that is provisionally. Uh that's uh pencil in as it were. And then the number five, which uh which is um which is uh uh what was generated by us. And then the number three, which was generated by the game. And then we've got the number eight, which was generated by us, and then a pencil in number four, and a pencil in number one. Now we don't have any of those that are completely empty, and none of them conflict for the same spot. So I think we can fill in the number one. Yep. All right. The number, the number one, and the number two, and number four. Ah, oh, we are making leaps and bounds here, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, and then we've got, uh, of course, ah. Uh, the next grid, which uh, starts with the number four, which was uh, yes generated by the game. Then we've got the number one, which was generated uh, by us. And then the number three, which was generated by us. And then the number nine, which was generated by us. And then the number eight, which was generated by us. Number seven, which was generated by us. The number two, which was generated by us. Uh, the number six, which was generated by the computer, <laughs> uh, and the number five, which was generated by us. Moving on now to the, the seventh grid, we have the number five, although that is penciled in, uh, the number six, which is not penciled in, and is in fact uh, quite, quite uh, 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 it's uh, put in by, by ink, and, uh, ink and quill there, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, which was, uh, uh, of course, uh, by which I mean generated by a computer. Uh, I wonder whether a computer is still using Ink and Quill. Uh, it's been a while since I last saw a, a, a proper proper uh, computer. Uh, uh, Mr. Babbage, uh, uh, was a good friend of mine, um, uh, had this marvellous contraption, which would, uh, which would tell me at great speed, uh, uh, train timetables divisions by other timetables, and it, it was truly a wonderful thing. Um, uh, anyway, uh, moving on to the one, two, three, four, five, seven, the seventh grid, as we were talking about, and the pencil in number five, and then the ink and quill number six, of course, and then the ink and quill number nine, and then the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the us um, ink and quill uh, number one. And then the pencil, as it were, uh, of course this pencil is a metaphor, uh, two and five, uh, or, or rather I should say two or five, could be one or the other. Uh, and then we have the number seven, which was a uh, pencil, not pencil, it's not pencil then, uh, because of course uh, of course, the, the pencil is a, a, a sim, sim, simmerful, uh, uh, no, uh, which was, uh, what I'm saying is it was generated by us. And now we're coming on to the number eight, which was generated by the game. And the number three, which was generated by the game. And the number four, which was generated by the game. Moving on to the eighth grid. Oh, I see the uh, eighth grid is completely filled in and requires no further work. I will root it out anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've got the generated number one. And then the generated number three, then generated number five, and then of course uh, these are the ones we've done: uh, the two and the eight and the seven, which were generated by us, and then the four, which was generated by us, and the number nine, which was generated by us, and the number six, which was generated by us. Moving on to the right, the ninth, the ninth grid. We have the number three, which was uh, generated by the computer, uh, and then the number seven, which was generated by us, and the number eight, which was generated by the computer, and then the number six, which was generated by the computer, and then we've got a square that is almost completely blank, save for the penciled in, of course, that is a metasimilar for, uh, uh, number five, 
which uh, I believe, uh, I don't want to uh, jump the gun here, Rosamond, but that may mean that that is, in fact, where the number five goes. Well, we'll come back to that in a moment, Rosamond. Uh, and then we've got the number four, which was generated by the computer. And then the number one, which was generated by the computer. The number nine, which was generated by the computer. And the number two, which was generated by us. <laughs> I'm proud of us, Rosamond. We're doing so well. Uh, We'll move, uh, we'll go on to the first grid that uh, doesn't have a number in it. So that would be in that one, two, three, uh, the, fourth, the fourth grid. And the first square in the uh, fourth grid, which cannot be a number nine, cannot be a number six, cannot be a number seven, cannot be a number one. Can be, well, hang on, I'll just, I'll, I'll count the ones that aren't in this, uh, in this grid. Our uh, simple logic here, uh, and we've got, uh, we've got the, uh, in, in ascending order, uh, we've got the number one. And we don't have the number two, I just meant, so we should, we should look out for that number two somewhere. Uh, and then the number three, which we do have, and number four, which we do have, and the five. Now, we don't have the five. Now, do we know where the five could go? Not immediately, but we do know that we're missing the numbers two and the number five. So I'll we'll put in with a little pencil here, with the pencil marker, you see at the bottom of the screen there, uh, a two and a five, and here will also be a two and a five. Now moving on, we've got uh, our next set of uh, empty squares, uh, which is in the, the seventh grid. And the fourth square is a uh, blank save for the penciled in number five. Now, I can't guarantee that that's where the five goes, uh, because of course there's, uh, we're also missing uh, five and two and two and five in this grid as well. Wonderful. So, uh, moving on to the, the ninth grid. So we, in this ninth grid, we do have the number one and the number two. And the number three, and the number four. We don't have the number five, and we have only one square left, which must mean that that last square in there is a number five. Now that tells us, I hope you're getting very excited here, that the number five cannot be of the very centre square of the, of the seventh grid, because of course the position of it in the ninth grid. So we'll put in over here, the number five. No, no, sorry, the number two. Wonderful, wonderful, Rosamond. Uh, and that means we have only one position left to fill, uh, which, well, by a process of deduction, uh, must be the number five. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, now, moving on to where we have our, our left. Um, Got one, two, three, four, in the fourth grid. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my. Ho, 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 ho. We have only what? Oh, no. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I thought we had only one number left to go. Uh, we do, in fact, have two left to go. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you uh, uh, when, when we get there. So we've got uh, in the one, two, three, four, the fourth grid. We have the number two penciled in, and then next to it we have the number five penciled in. Now I believe that means that the number two and the number five's places have been determined. So I'll put in the number two. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have only one, one number left. One number left. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, and it must be. Ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I don't want to oversell this, uh, but this is a momentous occasion. We may be finally about to finish this Sudoku. We have only one number left, and it is so 